Hello, this is Nicolo from Bonfus Ultralight and in this video we're going to have a look at the Midus two-person shelter. The Midus is a two-person pyramid-style shelter made out of Dyneema composite fabric which makes this tent extremely lightweight. It features two-sided entry with YKK number no. 5 water repellent zippers, 16 tie-out points for guy lens and a ventilation option located at the peak of the tent. When packed down, this tent will take about 25 cm in length and 12 cm in thickness. This is the 0.75 spruce green DCF version. Other versions that we also sell are the 0.51 white and 0.67 in camo and they will take a little bit less volume in your pack. It comes with a stuff sack that is oversized for easy packing and unpacking. To pitch this tent you will need either your tracking pole or a dedicated carbon fiber pole that we also sell. The ideal pitch height for this tent is between 136 and about 140 centimeters in height. At 136 this tent will be low on the ground and will block most of the wind if you're camping in bad weather. At 140 centimeter it will allow a more balanced ventilation and is generally the height we suggest for three season conditions. If your trekking pole does not reach up to 140 or 135 centimeters, you can use a pole extender that we also sell. Now let's have a look at how to pitch this shelter. We will start with six stakes, the trekking pole that I use and the tent itself. We suggest that if you're pitching the tent in snow that you use your snowshoes or your skis to flatten out the ground first. So first of all, find a flat spot, unroll the tent, and spread it out on the ground. So the first step is to stake out the four corners of the tent. It is not important to tension the guidelines too much as it will need a bit of slack to raise the tent. When the corners are staked out you can take your trekking pole and set it at a height between 136 and 140 centimeters. The next step is to pull the four corners to create a taut pitch. When that is done, you can then proceed at staking out the two guy lines at the doors and then all the other guy lines that you think are necessary based on weather conditions. We use Lion Lock 3 adjusters along all the perimeter of the tent, which are sewn in and not removable. While on the ridge line and on the mid panel tie outs, we use removable line locks. This way you can adjust the number of guidelines that are attached to your tent based on weather conditions and you can reduce the weight if the weather allows. Now that the shelter is pitched, let's have a look at the outside details of this tent and then we will go on and look at the inside of the tent. As it is pitched now, we have set the tracking pole at 140 centimeters of height and you see it's close to the ground but it has enough space to allow for a little bit of ventilation. On the top of the tent we have an opening for ventilation which is placed on one of the two short sides of the tent. We therefore suggest that the tent is pitched so that the wind comes from the opposite side of the tent and in this way snow and sand will not be driven into the tent from the ventilation in high wind conditions. The ventilation is kept open by a stiffening tube and it can be both open and closed easily from both the inside and the outside of the tent. Let's now have a look at the inside of the Midus two-person tent. The tent is about 280 cm in length, is about 200 cm wide and it is now pitched at 140 cm high. These dimensions will give average hikers with a normal amount of gear enough space to have their sleeping pads their sleeping bags and enough space on the sides of the tent for a normal pack. Also, as this tent is quite long as at 280 cm, one will have some space left both at the end side and at the head sides of the tent. This tent can be used both alone without any internet or it can be also used together with an internet like the Mindus internet that we also sell. Let's now have a look at the Midus internet and how it fits inside the tent. So the internet has a floor made with 1.0 DCF fabric and an extremely lightweight mesh netting. It also features two zippers, one on each side of the tent. To attach the internet, for the first time we will have to demount the tent. 
Once it is installed, we can leave it attached to the shelter so that next time we do not need to redo this process all over again. So the first step is to open the zipper and place the trekking pole towards the reinforced peak of the internet. When the floor is spread out, take the elastic cord with the hook at the end and secure it towards the corner. After the four corners are connected to the tent, the inner net is ready to be used. There are also four additional loops at the ridge lines, which can be connected to the matching loops on the tent, on the ridge lines also. This will help lift slightly the inner net and give a bit more space inside the tent. If you're after the perfect pitch, you can also stake out the tent through these loops at the middle of the floor. The inner net also features two mesh pockets, one on each side and an additional loop at the top of the peak. It is all for this video covering the Midus two-person tent and its matching inner net. I hope you find this video useful and if you have any questions, please visit our website at bonfus.com or send us an email at info at bonfus.com. Thank you.